don't forget the reason why I'm doing this, okay? It's not only to show you how to stretch properly, but also how to finalize a session properly. And as I said, it takes 10, 15 minutes, five minutes, three minutes if it needs to be, okay? So with the stretches that I'm gonna show you, remember have passive stretches and active stretches. The passive stretches, the one with no assistance at all. Active stretches, the one that you have assistance either from your own body or from someone else. That's the one I'm doing, that I'm gonna do with Katya. And also the PNF, okay? Proprioceptive Neuromuscular Facilitation. That's the translation to it. But that's the one that increases the range of motion a little bit more. Now, I think Katya is a little too flexible. And the more flexible the, flexible the person is, the harder it is to stretch. So it's always harder for the person stretching. The more tight the person is, the harder the stretch can be, but the easier it is for the person stretching, okay? So basically, guys, I will give you my full, uh, the full version of how the, my stretching routine at the end of a session look like, and you will see it's about seven or eight stretches, no more than that. And look into this not only as a way of giving an extra stretch to your client, but also as a way to provide an extra service too, okay? So, Katya, is that okay if I stretch you? Yes. Just a little consent that you always gotta have? So lie on your back and just fully relax, please. So, and obviously if you do a lower body session, lower body stretches are better. Uh, I'm gonna do a full body stretch here. But you can always prioritize. And these are not the only ones, of course. There are more to that. So we start with the calf, okay? So with the calf, okay? It's a, it's a lot about positioning, guys. So with the calf, I like to rest her leg in here and I'll push down that way. It doesn't matter if the person is wearing shoes or barefoot. It really doesn't make a lot of difference. Sometimes with shoes, it's easier, okay? Are you feeling the stretch on the calf? Yeah. Okay. One to five, I wanted that stretch to be level four, not on the limit, but quite hard. So one to five, what it is now, Katya? Like four, but yeah. Four, like, like four? Yeah. Okay, so I'll push it back a yeah, little bit more. I can go anymore. Like I can like go as much as I want. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> I can just go, okay? Uh, and I'll hold for about 20 seconds, guys. 20, 30 seconds, I can hold more if I have more time, and less if I have less time. If the person has very flexible soleus, Achilles tendon and, and gastrocnemius, very uh, flexible calves, I can bring them to this position here and then stretch further here. Do you feel it more or? Better, yeah. yeah. So you see, it's another position here. Yeah. Now don't forget one thing. I need to preserve, <laughs> I need to preserve my own position as well, okay? I give you one example <laughs> with the other side. <laughs> if I come and stretch this way here, that's okay, I'm doing the stretch. But look how's my back, okay? Cool, one session, two sessions will be fine, but after eight or nine sessions on the day, look at this position here. Here I can stay the whole day, I have much more support, and I can still do the same stretch. So it, this practice gives you that, guys. I have stretched so many people like through the same day and have struggled with that. Uh, with lower back pain, literally, and then after a while, you find the best positions, and here is gonna be the same, okay? I normally like to stretch one side and then move it to the other side, uh, so I will do that now. So from the calf, I will go straight to the hamstrings, okay? And hamstrings, same thing, depending on the level of flexibility of the person, I wanna keep that knee as straight as possible, and I'll keep pushing. So this is already above average level of stretching and I'm not even feeling the resistance, okay? So I'll go further. How's that? Yeah, it's good. One to five. Six? Six? No, no, one to five, you can only be oh, up to five. I'm in, uh, four. <laughs> <laughs> good, okay, cool. I wanna avoid the other leg to come off the ground. I can come here, look how my posture is. I could go here, but now I have much more uh, support for my back to do that, okay? And this will obviously stretch the hammies, okay? So coming back, we turn into glutes. So if I turn the leg like this, and this knee goes towards the left shoulder, remember, left knee towards the left shoulder, I will prioritize the glutes, okay? So I'll go there all the way, 
You feeling it? Glutes? Yeah, the glutes are pretty flexible. So look at that. This is, again, above average here. Okay, so it's pretty flexible. I can feel a little bit of a resistance, but this is as far as it goes. But I can't go any further. But you still be squatting down if, it, if my leg was only up to here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the own. position is the same, guys. The position doesn't change. Now, when I come back and bring this knee towards the opposite shoulder, I will reach the piriformis, okay? Which is another muscle, okay? And you should be feeling somewhere different if it's tight. But I'm assuming your, your glutes are tight and you, uh, are flexible anyway, okay? So when there is not much stretch, there is not much stretch. Maybe after a hard glute session, we could have a better activation there. Good. From this position, guys, I will have you to open your arms like this. I will turn the leg towards this way. And I will stretch all the section here, okay? From the chest, biceps, chest, obliques, uh, lower back, everything. So come in here. And sometimes when you reach this position here, that's where the person should be feeling the stretch, sometimes earlier. Oh, How are you feeling? So good, I love this one. Cool. Uh, and if you want to increase the stretch, you can place that heel in here, keep it in there, and then try to go further. So you can never okay. do it like that on your own completely? Yeah, like you, would, you would have to push that leg down, but again, it's not the same. Yeah. Okay? Cool. So up to now, I have done, I have done one, two, three, four, five stretches. Okay? I will, I will do the, the whole thing on the other side as well. Here, I will go and I will do a bit of adductors. So I open the leg this way here, okay? And remember, guys, I can push the leg all the way there with my hands, but all I'm using now is going to be my opposite knee, okay? Look at that. My, my support here is good. My spine is nice and neutral here, uh, and, but there's a lot of flexibility here, so I'll have problems, <laughs> okay? So I, I have to actually, look, my elbow is on my, my thigh now. Look, this is as far as it goes. Nine out of 10 people would don't go this way, okay? They would stop here, and the younger the person, the older the person is, less likely to go all the, all the way there. But isn't that just an example of what happens when you practice stretching regularly? That's it, that's it. It's a, good, it's a good level of flexibility. Here I go the same thing. So I've done the, the calf before, and I'll go straight away to the hamstring. Often, you feel a lot of difference from one side to the other. Okay, so, but look, look how far it goes. Very flexible, okay? And then coming back here, if I am bringing the same knee to the same shoulder, or the knee to the same shoulder, remember what am I prioritizing? Glutes, and if it goes to the opposite one, it's a little bit more piriformis, okay? So piriformis is around the glutes, it's just internal it muscle, really okay? And then to the other side here. I'm just holding for a few seconds, but you can hold for as long as you want. And then open it up here, the same one as before. This side seems pretty loose, this side here, no tightness at all. And then we go with the abductors adductors in here, okay? Same thing, this I know it goes all the way, so I might just wanna go straight there, okay? And if you really push, it goes really, really far. Then from this, I finish my, the sessions on the back. Now I get you to go on your side, please, gotcha? Yeah, side, like that, I will stretch the quads, okay? And with the quads, I can push through the hips or I can push through the knees, okay? I will do a bit of both, okay? So if the person has problems with the knee flexion, then I can stabilize the knee and just push through the hips, okay? Um, but here I try to do a bit of each. So quadriceps in here, how's that? Really good. Cool. Not much of a flexible, no, not as flexible her quadriceps. So I can push further and she will feel it, mm -hmm. which is nice. Yeah. You kind of usually get to these angles on your own. So you, yeah, it's just tough. And then you turn to the other side, that's to the other side. And what I want you guys to pay attention is my position as well, okay? So my position here, look at that. I can stay here the whole day. If I'm like this, it's different than if I am like this, okay? So I stretch all the way there. Hold for a few seconds and relax. 
To do the PNF with Katia is pointless. She has full level of flexibility. So I, we need someone with tight hammies in a second. The second uh, thing that I'm gonna do, this is stretches are almost finished here. So now I'll go for upper body. So it could be a Swiss ball, guys. It could be anything else. Uh, could be a little bit higher. In fact, ideally a little bit higher. And obviously I have the mat in between me and her, okay? So by having the mat in between me and her, Obviously, don't forget that I'm a guy, she's a girl, and this is a matter of, of uh, you know, just a sort of a barrier protection. I don't want my body touching her body in the end of the day, even though it is stretching and I have to touch her, but the more you protect one another, the better off we will be, okay? So what I need from you, Katia, is both hands behind your neck. That's it. So this is one of the ways you can stretch the chest, okay? and then you push back as much as you want, or as much as you can. However, this one here, if the person is too flexible, like she is, you feeling much of your chest? Yeah, not. Uh, a little bit? Yeah. There's two things you, you uh, two reasons why I wouldn't recommend this one. If you have problem on your shoulder, or if you're too flexible, because then you go too far back, or this also causes a little bit of stress on the shoulder. In that case, I get you to just open your arms. That's the best, the most recommended way here. And if the person is too flexible, you lean to the side, so there is a better range of motion here. Okay. From here, I stretch for a few seconds and I relax. I can go with other stretches here. I can go with the triceps in here. But again, if the person has problem on the shoulder, they may feel uncomfortable. So ideally here, I want to make sure the person is feeling the stretch. You feeling the stretch on the mm -hmm. triceps? Good. And then I can change to the other side. And obviously I'm rushing a little bit because I could have only five minutes. I could cut off some of these stretches, uh, but I can just keep doing as much as I want, really. And from there, we tilt to the side. You can get a slightly, this you don't push much because neck can be sensitive, but here I'll be stretching the trapezius. Okay, or the upper trapezius. And I can tilt to the side, I can tilt forward a little bit. Uh, if the person is an office worker, someone who is in front of the computer the whole day, those stretches are the reason why they're gonna come back sometimes. And guys, literally when I'm doing this in the gym, I can visualize the whole gym. I can see who is observing me and there is always someone. You know, I get people that sometimes they sit on the side, they, say, they go like, can I be the next? <laughs> it's, just, it's just you create that, that reason for people to talk to you. From here, all, what I'm ha all I have to do now to complete the job is 60 seconds of a bit of a neck massage that is always not in between the scapula. And I just think I just found one there, which is, I, I found pretty fun to, to, to deal with them. But you just relax that a little bit on the side, up here again. And if there is a nice knot and a person likes to, you to, you to um, work through that, obviously there's so much you can do here. It's really just so the person feels comfortable, nice and relaxed, all done. I want someone with tight hamstrings here, just so I can show the PNF. Who has tight hammies here? Normally, girls don't have tight hammies, you know, so I would expect some of the guys. But come in, Kim. Come in, Kim. She does. She does. All right. And look, there is no warm-up whatsoever. Just lie on your back again. That's no warm-up whatsoever, okay? So it's really taking from, let's just test those hamstrings. So just give me one foot. Yeah, that's it. And I will just test what the flexibility is like. Good. Pretty tight for, for a girl. Uh, and tell me where that sort of limit is. Here? Yeah. Okay. So I'll push a little bit more, make sure you feel comfortable. Yeah. I think this is pretty yeah, that's getting that. When this leg starts shaking, you see that's the limit. <laughs> so Kim, <laughs> well, what I want you to do is push back against my hand for three seconds. Push. Three, two, one, relax. So you get Again, one more. Yeah, three, two, one, oh. relax. And we go again, three, two, one, and relax. Good, look at the level of flexibility that I've got. That is a slight lift on the, the other thigh, but I definitely work through her hamstrings a little bit more, okay? 
Uh, <laughs> let's try the other one. Fully relax that leg. Do you know if, which one is tighter? Oh, that's right. Okay. Oh, there we go. So you like this. Uh, okay. It's probably pretty tight here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I'll push more. Don't, don't resist yet. Good. This is, I'm doing some effort here, okay? Push back, Kim. Three, two, one. Relax. Look at that. Again. Three, two, one. Relax. Good. And one more. Three, two, one. Relax. So at the time that I have the relaxing, then I can take it further. I wouldn't be able to go that far in the first place. Normally you do about three on each side and then you can do it again and do it again and that will increase the range of motion, okay? Uh, if I just stretch, she would feel the stretch, I just wouldn't increase the range of motion. <laughs> With the PNF, then I can increase the range of motion as I go. So it's a work for flexibility. Maybe she just wants to be stretched, then I don't need that. But if she wants to increase the flexibility, and the mobility of the hips and the hamstrings, then you can do the PNF, and you can do it with any other muscle, and that would work as well. Okay? Thanks, Kim. Okay. This is how we do cool down. Obviously, on your paperwork, you're gonna go there and go like, oh, okay, yeah, let's write a few stretches at the end. Let's write this, let's write that. That's all fine. That's all correct. But, you know, you can be just compliant or correct or just safe if you want. But sometimes you need to do an, you know, go an extra mile so you can actually uh, charge more and deliver a better service. And that's what I try to show you here, okay? And again, have you ever seen a, a personal trainer finishing a session like this? You may have seen, but not many, okay? And you may be ne never have seen. And I challenge you, go and try and, and look around actually, and see if you find someone finishing a session like this. And now understand why some people reach 80, 100, $120 a session, and why some people stays on 50. You know what I mean? It's the little things, because everybody can smash them on. It's just the little things, the little treatment, the extra five minutes, you know? So that's the, that's the message.